welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is marina i think i broke my camera for a second because it was fuzzy and i don't know if it rectifies rectum fuzz rectum fuzz nope that's not the word <laughs> i don't know if it rectifies itself i think it does though here in a minute every day gone weekend i hit you with a weekend vlog hey shane why'd you have to come in and ruin my mojo i lost it oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Every single weekend, I do a weekend vlog. It's where y'all just see behind the scenes on projects I'm doing that week. Usually, I throw in our grocery haul if we got one. It's all it's just random stuff. It's just random stuff. Stuff that doesn't get put into my regular videos during the week gets put into the weekend vlog. This weekend, I'm doing some projects around the house. Uh, I couldn't for the past two weekends. I wasn't feeling really hot, y'all know. Now, I'm feeling pretty much fine. I did have some issues last night, but it's, it's no biggie. I can still, like, obviously, I can yak my mouth. I'm good. <laughs> We're gonna do a bunch of just like projects around the house just to like f put things together because you guys know I do a lot of projects and I finish them but I don't finish them if that makes sense like I finish them to where it looks good it looks great but I don't put that pristine touch that I finish the project and I make it look good but I don't I don't put that finishing touch on it you know what I mean like my fireplace insert looks amazing but it don't have trim on it right now uh, my hallway looks amazing but half of it does have trim on it right now so like I do the most but not the mostest if that makes sense so today I'm focusing on the little stuff I'm gonna pop some trim up finally some baseboards up in my living room I haven't had baseboards up in my living room for going on two years now so that's exciting I also want to do a little bit of shopping for fall like I really just want to go window shopping because I haven't budgeted a lot out for fall. I've been working on really setting budgets for myself. Not only to help myself and you know my family. But to encourage you guys that you can do anything you want to do on a budget. It doesn't have to be extravagant. Nothing in my house that I've done is extravagant. Yeah, everything put together really brings it together. And it's it's a beautiful home. I'm grateful for it. It's, it's the best looking home I've ever had. I'm trying to, while budgeting out for my family of course firstly firstly but secondly to sh encourage you guys like hey you don't have to have a multi-million dollar income to to make it whatever space that you have look pretty whether you rent an apartment whether you have a actual like block home whether your home is huge whether it's small whether you do mobile home living whatever you do you can make it gorgeous especially if it's a mobile home i'm so tired of that stigma of oh a mobile home is a mobile home and it can't be nothing more no a mobile home can be a mobile mansion if you love it and if you take care of it and you and you do what you want to do in it so that's what i'm here to encourage you guys to do you don't have to spend a fortune these big youtubers and that stuff no that's for the birds you spend what you got and you don't go over you never go in debt for what you have you'll notice that you'll be much happier that way. So I wanted to kind of just bring you guys along, do a little shopping, a little window shopping, things. I definitely need to clean out my pantry this weekend because Shane's been noticing a smell and he's like, Raina, something ain't right in there. And I'm honestly afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid to see what's in the pantry. So I need to get that cleaned out real good. I'll probably do that sometime today. But yeah, let's, let's, let's get the weekend started. It's Saturday. I usually come at you on Friday, but yesterday we did school until like almost 9 p.m. We did evening school, so it, it got me off track. Let's get the weekend started. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you put it up to your ear and it was through your Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are wanting to go with Nana, so she's meeting us over here at Hobby Lobby parking lot. Nana. Oh, there she is to get them. The girls want to stay with yeah. us. Oh. Well, hey there, pretty lady. Yeah. They Lord and mercy. <laughs> you do not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just got the eight state. Oh, look at this pen, Sassy. What? Look at that pen. You found a pen, Nan? Come on. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <That> baby darling. 
I haven't seen you for a week. I know it a whole week. <laughs> we are getting something to eat and people are looking at me. Oh, this is weird in Tennessee. You don't do stuff like this. So we're getting something to eat. <laughs> and um <laughs> These people are looking at me like I need to be institutionalized. Shane's wanting Waggles pizza. So I guess we're eating Waggles pizza. I guess I'm eating Waggles pizza toppings. And then the girls want Bojangles. So I can probably get Waggles pizza toppings and Bojangles green beans. Do they have green beans? I think they have green beans. You think it's hot out here? It's hot, ain't it? <laughs> Ninja, <laughs> you are a ninja. Pizza dudes got thirty seconds. <laughs> The only reason he likes this is because it's cheesy and reminds him of the Ninja Turtles. That's it. It's good. Nanny had that Get extra printer. Quit. Nanny had that extra printer. I already have a printer, but Colton's been wanting to learn how to print things, and that's one of the old school printers, and I think it would be easier for him to work on that one and then move up to the one we have, because the one we have is like really does it's, it connect to Waffles? It's fancy. This one doesn't. This one uh, connects with USB. Somebody just spilt their drink all over my feet. <laughs> oh, baby. I'll get you a new one, okay? <laughs> but um, I figured that one, we're going to try it. It is older. It's USB, so we shall see. Hey. Hashtag Tater Nation. <laughs> The Awesomely Created Show. Hi, welcome. We've got a grocery haul for you today because y'all know what you like, y'all know what you want. So let's go over this. <laughs> first things first, we got some puppy pads because you know, Binks. He's great and all. We've got some waters. We got some nanners. Actually, we got, oh, we got three bunches of nanners. Awesome. We got some bread here. Some oh, we got some butter bread too. Check that out. We got butter bread and two things of white bread and one thing of hamburger buns. Is it on auto focus? Oh, it better be. We got some strawberries. We got some Caesar salad. Rena got me into um what is it? Italian dressing? The Olive Garden Italian dressing. Yeah, that dressing. stuff is great. I usually just like ranch, but... Gotta broaden your horizons. <laughs> we got some cucumbers. We got some chicken patties. These things are actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. We got some tater chips, which coincide with taters. You know how I feel about taters. Hashtag Tater Nation. That's going to be my new thing from now on. Hashtag Tater Nation. Make sure you get that on a shirt, Raina. I'm not putting that on a shirt. You will. Nope. We got some rotini. Rotini? I can't do that. Rotini? I can't do it. Okay. We got, oh, we got Buffalo Wild Wings Parmesan Garlic. What is this for, Raina? It's for a, a recipe. I'll be showing them to, in, this, in this vlog. Okay. We got some Pillsbury soft baked cookies. You don't have to cook them; they're already ready to go. Oh, we also got some mini sweet biscuits. These we've never tried before. We're excited because they're new. Look at that; they're actually little biscuits. We got some strawberry sweet biscuits and some honey butter sweet biscuits. Then we got some Pringles. Oh, we're all ready for Halloween. You see that huh? zombie hand? <laughs> um, what are these? Are these sour cream and onion? Yeah, sour cream and onion. And we also got grape vingles. <laughs> These are cheddar cheese. We got some creamy peanut butter. 
Who likes crunchy? Seriously. If you like crunchy, no hate, but who likes crunchy? Uh, we got, ooh, we got some buffalo wings. Heck yeah. Those are actually mine. Barbecue. Okay. Scratch that. We got some barbecue wings. Okay. I didn't buy her. She came. She came with my heart. <laughs> Stupid. Now don't go breaking my heart, I baby. Try. Got some tea. Tell them the story um, me. So I'm not a tea drinker. I, I don't believe in the leaf water. But my family loves sweet tea, and apparently they Your didn't son have loves sweet, sweet tea. Yes, Colton in general loves sweet tea. Well, they didn't have it. Look at that shirt. Anyway, um. <laughs> <laughs> My family loves tea. They absolutely love tea. And Colton, in general, absolutely adores tea. So, they didn't have sweet tea, so they gave me Splendy. Splendy. <laughs> okay, we got some garlic breadsticks. These things are the bomb. These are awesome. Uh, Rainy got some macaroni balls. For when I'm feeling fancy. These are fancy? Yeah. You can hold a pinky up with everyone you eat? SpongeBob! Pinky! Pinky up! We got two things of hash browns. These things are really good, actually. Um, we got three packs of pancakes because are... these are great breakfast items. We've got butter cookie coffee creamer. I'm surprised you didn't go with the uh, um, pumpkin spice. I tried, they didn't have it in stock. We Instagram. No! <laughs> yep. no! No, no, in that story. Yeah. So next up, we got some cold brew coffee. You still haven't gotten my Black Rifle coffee. And then... That Black Rifle coffee is like $1,000. It is not. It's expensive. And then we got two things of 2% milk. Uh, we got some twist-ups here. We got some salted butter. Then, we got some of the old TP when we got a wiper butt. Check <laughs> Um, oh sweet nectar you got chicken legs all right so here's something you need to know about my wife she never gets chicken legs and I love chicken legs she likes the boneless skinless chicken I like having bones in my chicken okay so there they are let's kind of get a good look at a leg here yeah all right then we got some burger meat gotta have that burger meat we got some pork chops, always good. Here it is. Here's here, here's Rena's favorite, boneless, skinless chicken. Is that it? Look at me, breaking records. Listen, I went. I'm breaking can records. They see me? Can they see me? Can, can you see her? I'll it's not like you don't see her five times a week. <laughs> I went. $60 under budget. I was trying to figure out what you were doing just now. You went, I went, la, 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 la. <laughs> did you glitch? <laughs> $60 under budget. That's pretty impressive. Like, that's awesome. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm revamping my budgeting, and I mean, we already budgeted really good, though. Why are you looking at me? You look at the camera. I <laughs> your, your, face, your face is too pretty for me. Oh, okay. mama. <laughs> but... Um, I, we always have done really good with budgeting. Well, after you like, have no, always done good with we budgeting. We used to do horrible <laughs> at budgeting. I'm our still money, bad at budgeting. <laughs> our money management skills were terrible. But a couple of years, about a year and a half to two years ago, we started totally budgeting a different way, and we started doing like all the the system and everything. It works, and we're getting better and better. I may even get it down to one hundred and twenty five dollars a week. That'd be pretty cool. What if I did that? Hey, I hear an ambulance pray. What if I did that though? $125 yeah, a week cool. for six people? I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that's our grocery that. haul. Rana did amazing as usual. Uh, I feel like we got a lot of good stuff for what we paid. And yeah. As always, this is awesomely created. Your, uh, what, what they used to call it back in the day? Call it the master of ceremonies. That's it. I'm awesomely created and I'm the master of ceremonies for the grocery haul. Thank you what, for stopping in. This you is awesomely created. Signing out. <laughs> That's how you do it, girls. That's how a star is born.
I'm still filming. Okay, so Banks is mad because we're leaving. We just got the groceries put up. Shane just went poop. And <laughs> Take it back. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Take it back. No, you took forever. He took Four. forever. But now we're headed to, um, I'm gonna walk around Hobby Lobby. I guess you're gonna get loud Shane in the mall. No. Yep. No, you're not. This is a bad angle, but my nostrils look like the scream mask. <laughs> you know, like the scream, Halloween scream masks. <laughs> no. Loud Shane in the mall. Yeah. No. I can't stand loud Shane in the mall. He yells and it echoes all the time. I'm not gonna lay in nothing. Shane, I think I found one a lot. Can't you see the problem with just can $14. Oh, that looks weird. It's got candy corn. I love this. I don't think I could put it in my house, but that's cute. And love. That's cute. Oh, that's like got a feel to it. I really like that one. I'm so tempted, but it, not for forty dollars. It's tall though. <laughs> Ooh, I really like this one though. They've got a pretty. I like long. the fabric ones. Look down here. <gasps> I can see this in front of my fireplace. Oh, how much is this? How much? Nope, not for twenty-five dollars. Forget that. But this is cute. I really like that a lot. But I like the white one. Uh, okay, I like this a lot. Mm, they got these two that say Hello Fall. And these are $12.99 too. But those don't look much like pumpkins. I like this a lot. I think that would almost be too big. I really like this. How much is that? 50, 50 bucks, no way. What about this one? How much is that one? Oh my God. I like that one. It is $14.99. And this one is how much? $19.99. Okay, so in front of the fireplace, definitely this. But I just don't know if I want to pay twenty dollars for it. But I like it. I just I think I can find something more fall vibes at Hobby Lobby or something. Speaking of fall vibes, nope, I like this. And it's only fourteen ninety nine. Run, little buddy, run! Shane, get Marin chasing. You know what? They wouldn't get on to the parent who put the first, <laughs> uh, the, put the kid in there. But they're going to get on to the guy that comes in there and scares them. Yeah, a whole parent dunked a whole child into the cage. They got Helga Pataki. Shut it. <laughs> Shut it, football head. Yep. <laughs> Look, Shane, they got Bob Ross. Art of chill game. <laughs> I need to learn the art of chill. <laughs> I'm actually the chillest person ever, though. Shane needs to learn the art of chill. Colton would freak out, and I really want to get him one. But I don't know. No. We're trying to be minimalist. See, minimalism isn't... I'm as confused as you are. I think I hit the slow mo button by accident. What are those? No. What kind of store does Shane have us in? We say no to that in Jesus' name. That's cool. No. Come on. Those are doormats. No. No. Not even to the back door. That's not the way. You gotta give a little. Just get a little. You gotta give a little.
I was going to try to film in here, but it is wild. Okay, so we here. somebody's been drinking Fireball yeah, in fire. the Lowe's parking lot. Yeah, it's like a little like airplane bottle of alcohol. Um, what did I get here to tell y'all? Uh, we just left the mall. We left Hobby Lobby and we left Dollar Tree. And I stayed under budget, but that's because literally nowhere had anything. Like it, even Hobby Lobby, it was just pumpkins. And I told Shane, like I have so many pumpkins now. Necessary? Is it necessary? I didn't. Oh my gosh, these people are looking at me now. You drew attention to us. Uh, I didn't go over budget, but the thing is, is that's because it was due partly to my self-discipline but it was mostly due to nowhere having anything so now we're going in Lowe's because I gotta get trim and then I want to run by Big Lots because I want to change out my countertops in uh the makeover video so I want to look for a particular a particular a particular contact paper but right now I gotta go in here and get some trim well actually it's baseboard but you know what I mean literally I just opened the door and freaking my arm went off Shane close the door. okay y'all we're home. Woo. We were shopping all day long. My mouth is starting to hurt again. No in Jesus name. So I'm really upset because I threw my car key away. <laughs> when I was doing that major declutter, I got a little declutter happy and I threw the whole daggone key away. So now I've got to get in touch with the dealership to try to get another key for my van. <laughs> and it's going to probably cost me an arm and a leg. Oh. Does anybody else do that? Like, you get in the declutter mode, and then it's just everything goes. Like, you throw everything <laughs> out the door. I've got to be more careful about that. This is all what I got. All of these bags here. But I shopped smart. Um, I shopped on bargain, and I shopped on sale. So everything, all the fall decor at Hobby Lobby right now, I'm sure if you watch a lot of YouTubers, they are going crazy in their Hobby Lobbies right now. But all the fall stuff, as of right now, as of time of this video, uh, Friday, what's today, the 14th? Saturday the 14th. As of Saturday the 14th, Hobby Lobby's fall decor is still 40% off. So all my fall, fall decor from there was on sale. Um, then... The TJ Maxx stuff, that's, you guys know, TJ Maxx is super affordable. Well, on some things, some things are a little, mm, like, you could probably find it somewhere else for cheaper. But the things I found, they were priced pretty fairly, I'd like to say. And then, oh, Dollar General, I ran in there. I ran in there for contact paper for my counters. Because last time I was in there, they had a specific kind. Nope, they didn't have it. Big Lots, I ran in there because they also had that kind they don't have it anymore so i'm gonna have to order the kind of contact paper that i'm wanting for my counters which that's okay um i can wait on that i'm in i'm in no big hurry i just wanted i just thought it'd be cool to like do it all at the same time that i was doing a little bit a little of the updates around the house but if not it's no biggie i will show you guys the baseboard though here's the baseboard we're using throughout the house in my hallway over there too you can see that's the baseboard so I only got one of these, but baseboard is not cheap. This is the uh, MDF primed cedar, I believe. And it was $26 plus tax for just a 12 foot thing of baseboard. So that's something I'm gonna have to do slowly, but it's okay, as long as we're seeing progress, it's getting done. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get us there. We're gonna get there at some point. So I got this so we can at least finish up one to two, one to one and a half walls. I'm not quite sure which walls I'm gonna finish with this. I know the main one is gonna be this one here behind me that my entryway's on. This wall right here, that's gonna be the one that I'm focusing on this week. But let me show you what I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I'm gonna go in category. So I'll tell you when the, when the store changes. But this is what I found at Hobby Lobby. I am in love with what I found at Hobby Lobby, but I will say I was disappointed overall with what they had for fall this year. Given I don't decorate for fall all the time. I really didn't decorate much for fall last year. If you'll see, it was just really Dollar Tree stuff. So this is the first time I'm really going to be decorating for a season other than Christmas. And even last year, my Christmas was a little bit, you know, it was basic. You know how usually the YouTube world, they decorate extravagant. Well, we don't do extravagant <laughs> when we do affordable. <laughs> so it wasn't that much. This year, I'm going to try to amp it up a little bit because there's just so many ideas I want to do. But I don't really look at Pinterest a lot. 
I've told you guys that before. Like, I like my decor style to be that. My decor style. So, I don't watch YouTube videos when it comes to decorating uh, for any of the seasons or decorating in general. I don't like for it to influence my decor style. I like it to be unique to me, what I like. And I also don't watch, I don't look at a lot of Pinterest because also I don't want it to influence my decor style. Now, it's, it's cool to get ideas every now and then, but I think sometimes we can jump on the bandwagons and like pick at and start to decorate in a style that we don't truly like just because it's in. That's never something I want to do. I don't care if farmhouse goes out of style next month. It's my, it's farmhouse to me is what I like. So that's what I'm going to do. So I got this little pumpkin. My, my fall is going to be traditional colors, but it's going to be muted traditional colors. So the muted green, the muted oranges, the muted reds, the muted yellows, all the traditional colors, but muted to kind of, cause I still want to keep my house bright. I still want to keep my house light and bright and airy and stuff. But y'all know I'm in love with this green. This, and it was very affordable. I got it for 40% off. And it was originally $4.99. So y'all do the math. Because I can't. No, I'm just kidding. I could if I spent if I sat here and thought for five minutes. <laughs> I got this Hello Fall sign. I was going to attempt to make one of these on my own. But honestly, at this price. Where's the price at? Oh. Honestly, at this price. With 40% off, I was like, no, nah, we doing that. You go Hobby Lobby, I'm doing that. I'm also integrating this tray into my fall decor, but I'm going to be leaving that up all year round and just changing it with the seasons. And this was $14.99, but it was also 40% off. I got this cute little galvanized stand, and it was, I can't, none of these things have the price on it. Oh, this was $8.99 at 40% off. I got these little pumpkins. They are the gray buffalo plaid, which I'm not usually a fan of gray buffalo plaid. I'll be honest with you. I like the contrast of the black buffalo plaid, but these are really cute and they go along with the whole muted thing I'm going for. I found this drying mat and while I am getting a dishwasher soon, I cannot pass this up. Not only does it have my buffalo plaid, but I'm loving, like, look how, oh, I love it. I love it. It's not technically muted, but oh man, I love that. And this was super affordable too. Man, this was yeah, this was 40% off and it's $7.99. So that was super affordable. My green pumpkin. And then I got these little, these were super cheap. These little pumpkins. I was kind of like, I told Shane in the store, I was like, man, I, all I felt, I feel like all I got was pumpkins. Like, I wanted a squash or something, but they didn't really have any that I just, that stood out to me. I uh, also got this little stand here. I f figured I could utilize that, like, in a tear tray or something. And then I got this mug to switch out that mug over there to be fall. See? Because it says, hey there, pumpkin. Which I call JJ pumpkin all the time. So, but that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. And then from TJ Maxx, I am in love with these. Absolute love with these. This one in particular. I got these for a pretty good price. I think... You guys saw me shopping in there. That wasn't a whole lot, but I mean, I found there were some cute finds. This was $10. That is a little bit pricey, but can you put a price on happiness? <laughs> it makes me happy. And then this better not have been $19.99. That's all I gotta say. Was it? Was that $19.99? No way. I didn't pay that for that. I'm pretty positive I did not pay $19.99 for that. No, that's not even a TJ Maxx uh, sticker. I want to say this one was $12.99. And then I found this for $12.99 as well. I love it. And then I found that basket. Y'all saw me have a fit over it. It was $14.99. This was at Hobby Lobby. Oops. This was at Hobby Lobby. I found that at Hobby Lobby. And I just liked how it had those muted colors. They're a little bit, you know, darker than what I was going for, but I think it'll add cute, like, good contrast. I don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all know I don't know what I'm talking about. Then, I went to DG to see if they had anything fall related, and they were wiped out. I got a couple of picture frames because I've been trying to think of what I want to do on the end caps of my island, and a few of you guys suggested doing pictures on it, so I'm going to try that. I've already moved a couple of my pictures over there, and I just got these to kind of add over there. 
um, to see if I'm going to like it or not. This one was three. This one was four. Um, and then this is really all they had for fall. It was pitiful. They were wiped out. I did find this candle, though, there. And it's the pumpkin picking. Let me see if I can get it good. Yeah, pumpkin picking. It smells phenomenal. They also had a flannel one. It smelled okay. I usually love flannel, but it just, that, I don't know. I, I preferred the pumpkin this time. And then when I went to Big Lots to try to find some stuff, they didn't have anything but this hand soap. And it's the Spice Caramel Pumpkin one. And it, uh, it was only a dollar. It does kind of smell like butt. But it smells like pumpkin butt. <laughs> and then I went to Dollar Tree a town over. Because you guys know my Dollar Tree last weekend had nothing. Well, this same Dollar Tree had nothing but this. I walked out of there with just this. My wallet's not complaining. But I'm complaining a little. <laughs> this right here. If I had just came back with that, I would have been happy. Like, I, that makes me sad. I'm going to leave it out all year long. Would y'all think I was weird if I just left this out all year long? I love it. I hope Binks don't mark his territory on it, though. Okay. So now I need to put all this up in a box. And then my mouth has eased off. It was trying to hurt again, y'all. I don't know what that was about. But we say no to that in Jesus' name. I need to really clean out my pantry because I smell that smell. And it, is, it does not smell good. And I'm really hoping I don't find something I don't want to find in there. It smells mildewy, though. It don't smell rotten. It smells like... You know when you let water sit somewhere for a really long time? Like my mop bucket every week. <laughs> every week I leave that water sitting in there for a week and it smells like turd. That's what it smells like. Like lake water. So, I really don't want to go digging in there, but I have to. So, it's off. I have to. Sometimes I gotta do things that we don't want to do, like digging around in a turd pantry. Good morning! Colton is showing me. So, yesterday while in Five Below, I saw a Baking for Kids book in there for five bucks. And Colton has been begging me for a, like, recipe book for specifically for kids. Because he wants to learn how to bake. And, like, cook and do all the things. He absolutely loves anything to do with food. Like, he loves to bake. He loves to cook. He loves to read recipes. He'll literally just flip through recipe books. I'm telling you, he's going to be a chef one day. Like, absolutely going to be a chef one day. That's how good he is at reading recipes and stuff. And measuring and everything. So, he's looking at the one that we got him yesterday at Five Blow. What's it called? Kids Cookbook. Bake Up Kids Cookbook is what it's called. And it has, it goes from beginner to pro with 60 recipes. So it starts out at beginner level and goes to pro level, which I think is what, a level three coat? And there's pictures for every recipe. So it starts with beginner, like these cookies, and then intermediate with these, and then it goes to pro. So I told him every week he gets to pick two recipes from that book that he wants to make and eat. So he has to tell me the, the ingredients we'll need so I can add them to the Walmart grocery pickup. And then he'll be able to learn it himself. Mama's not going to help or nothing. We're having this. This is sliced and baked sugar cookies. And we're also having... He even has his little pages tab. Ooh. Red velvet layer cake with cream cheese frosting. <laughs> Mm, that sounds good. <laughs> He's been looking through that this morning and showing me things that he wants to make. I did not clean out the pantry last night. I had some more issues with my mouth and I really hope that I don't start having issues with my mouth because they will not pull them if the infection's still there. And I'm on round two of antibiotics. It needs to be gone. But so I gotta do the pantry real quick. Gotta clean it out real good at some point today. But I also have to film a video. I'm filming a mobile home makeover where I'm just doing like small updates that make up for one big update. And then uh, I gotta get supper in the crock pot real quick before I do that though. Oh crap. What time is it? It is, it's 10.30 so I have to get dinner in the crock pot real quick before I even think about doing anything else or it won't be done in time. I think we're gonna do uh, crock pot chicken and pasta. Uh, it's a good recipe. Shane loved it last time. I loved it. It is a little bit spicy, but it's not too bad. Like, my kids enjoyed it and they had no problem with it. Even Cammy absolutely loved it, didn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I'm going to toss that in the crock pot and show you guys how I make that. It's super simple. Like, one, two, three, four ingredients, like, in the crock pot. And then, once it gets to almost done, 
you cook up your noodles and stuff, so really five ingredients, but it's super easy. All you gotta do is put your chicken breasts in there, your wild wings parmesan garlic sauce, put some milk, fill it about three fourths of the way up your parmesan bottle, shake it up real good, put that in there, a thing of cream cheese, and cover it, cook it on low for six to eight hours. Holy moly, it's awesome. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. All right, so I'm getting rid of a ton of spices, not only because, hey, minimalism, <laughs> but because I can't, okay, I can't give minimalism the glory for me getting rid of these. They're literally out of date. Literally, Boo. this one is from 2017. 2017, if somebody eats this pumpkin pie spice, they gonna have the Hershey squirts, for days. It's liable to mutate their DNA. Okay, so since I got rid of so many spices, I'm gonna be going through these again just to recheck the dates. Pretty sure half of this is gonna go. I'm gonna use this as my snack drawer. One of my subscribers a long time ago when I first did this area, one of my friends was like, you should turn that drawer into a snack drawer. Well, this is only gonna be here for a couple more weeks until we make do the pantry makeover. So, I was like, you know what? That's a really great idea, especially with having less spices. I have more room to keep like the snacks so they're easily accessible for the kiddos. For Shane, because you guys know his little Juicy fruits are his favorite. It's easily accessible. How dare you? Really? <laughs> easily accessible for them. So I love that idea. Plus they have their little drink mixes. I also put the tin full here just to be like, you know, because I really didn't know where else to put it. But it works there. Our hot chocolate, some extra chips, the salt and vinegar ones that never get eaten. Uh, the ranch and different season oh. packets. All that stuff right here. Okay, so I just went through, I just re went through the rest of them and I'm only keeping four. I'm keeping my Creole seasoning, the seasoned salt, oregano, and my everything bagel seasoning. The rest of them's gone. Like the wind. Like fart in the wind. Cause I 
nothing. One has spent ropes on it. I finally found out what that nasty butt smell was in the pantry. It was rotten tater juice. They were completely like disintegrated almost. They were like spongy. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Found out what the smell was. It was rotten taters mixed with sugar. So there's a concoction that you never want to have. Just from my experience, rotten taters, like the tater juice mixed with old sugar at the bottom of a cabinet smells like butt. It smells really bad. It smells like lake water mixed with dirty feet mixed with butt. Like that's what it smells like. If just imagine it, it, it was really bad. <laughs> so um, I've got all my cans. They're semi-organized. I went like vegetables, fruits, soups, and then I found vegetables I didn't put over here, so I put over there. So I, there's a there's a system to it. Got my kiddos' favorite snacks right here. They love these. Uh, my people used to call them by any sausages. I told you all that a hundred thousand times. How's it feel to always hear me repeat myself? <laughs> I got my stock over here, my chicken stock, my beef stock. I got my condensed milks right there. I got rice and tater packets, like the mashed tater, the Idaho mashed tater packets right there. All my sauces are aligned back up through there, and then those are baggies. Not too shabby. This is what we're getting rid of. All that's expired or damaged or already open and been open for a while. And Shane is going back and forth on whether he's going to keep this or not keep this. Shane? Final verdict? Toss it. Toss it? Yeah. Oh, Toss wow. It. He's what? letting things go, y'all. Are we what? becoming minimalist, Shane? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mama. This is what I'm tossing right here. And then this is what it looks like up here. I also got to put these two up here, though, because I found these down there. I don't know why they were down there, but they were down there. So that's what that looks like. I was able to fit all of our macaronis up there. Got all of our cookbooks up there, plus packs, which is the book that we're group reading together. We need it in a convenient, convenient spot. Put all my rags back in there. And then y'all seen the state of this. It doesn't look too organized, but at least they know, they know where it's at. So I have yet to start filming my other video. I just got done with the pantry and then I put some um, lunch in the oven. I got this for the kiddos. They're having this, you know, balance. And then Colton didn't want that, so he has this bar these barbecue chicken bites, like the boneless wings, and then some macaroni fried bites. So Walmart was out of Shane's. I forgot to tell you. Well, I forgot to have him tell you because he's been doing the grocery hauls. Um, but Walmart was out of Shane's Dr. Pepper, so I had to send him down here to Arby's to get the Dr. Pepper. And I always send him because he's good looking and he always gets our drinks for free. <laughs> always. Every time he goes, he gets free drinks. That's not it, actually. I just say, 
give me the free drinks. And they're like, okay. I'm like, you know what? I can't even be mad. I just got my drink for free. Like, flown it. <laughs> hey, Arby's. <laughs> come around here often? And then they're like, ooh la la. <laughs> we live here. What can I do for you? I need some free drinks. <laughs> Okay, so I uh, mashed up, my, my, I don't like that word when you're talking about chicken. I didn't mash up the chicken. I just took my meat uh, thing in there and got it all broken up. Shredded it, that's the word. And I cooked me some noodles and I'm going to put the noodles in here and just let it cook for a few more minutes. So I'm going to put this on warm for about, I don't know, 15 minutes while the breadsticks are cooking. Ooh, it's fogging up. And then I'm gonna make a salad. Oh, I love you. Be careful. I'm gonna make a salad for side, and so we're gonna have this breadsticks and a side salad. Shane is running to the Dollar General. I was gonna do it, but honestly, I've been trying to film this other video, um, the mobile home updates video. We've been trying to film that and um, get dinner ready and do all the things that need to be done on Sunday to prepare for Monday. So he's gonna go run uh, and get that stuff while I finish up dinner. Okay, so this is what JJ's plate looks like. It's got the pasta, the chicken pasta, the salad with Caesar dressing, and the breadstick that I almost burnt, but I didn't. All right, you wanna close it out? It is getting dark. Thank you for joining us on this journey as we proceeded to uh, Buffalo Plaid the house. Wait, no, you're not supposed to tell them that. This is the weekend vlog. Thank you for joining us on this journey. <laughs> we're shooting in between different videos, so I don't know which one we're on right now. But I'm going to say thanks. If you liked what you saw... No, do not. Do would you not. let me finish? Thank you very much. If you liked what you saw, come back for the next video. We'll be here waiting. So, as my beautiful wife always says, Jesus loves you more than we do. No, come here. I have to be careful what I show you because I can't give you any sneak peeks of what we've been up to in a separate video. Hey, hey who wants to see but... a sneak peek? Hold on. I lied! I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all tomorrow.